Have you seen the most sub Twitch streamer, Kai Sinat, allegedly try to cover up a rape? Um, rape is bad. Influencer Jovi Pinez alleged she was raped at a New Year's party by a man named... We are very out of the Anglosphere with our naming conventions here. Jigui? Jigoi? Sec? She says she was invited by Kai Sinat, who told her she'd be safe to sleep upstairs, where the alleged crime happened with, um... Dejoy, who seems to be acquainted with Kai. Raped at a party by a stranger. I was invited by Kai Sinat. When I decided to leave, he told me I'd be safer upstairs since I was drunk and it wouldn't bother me. Guys, again, we're not doing the victim blaming. I will, however, uh, offer advice, all right? If you are in the presence of Twitch streamers, do not under any circumstances drink anything. Sleep around them. Do not uh, do not, not have a gun. You have to have a gun. Be wearing body armor. You were at a maximum threat level. It's DEFCON 2. Just being anywhere near a Twitch streamer. Especially a popular one, okay? Any one of these goddamn parties. I thought I was safe due to there being security and Kai's confirmation. However, I wasn't safe. Dejoy Sack walked into the room where I was asleep and brutally raped me to the point where I bled. When I woke up to see him still on top of me, I called him out as a rapist. And he told me that I was in his bed and that's why he did what he did. Ah, logic. I see. And then we have uh, party photos. Kai seems to deny it was one of his friends. Where she then finds a picture of them together. The ultimate goal here is to find out more info on Dejoy. Dejoy. This has since been handed over to Kai's attorney, as Jovi was told they'd be handling the situation. Okay. All right, we have info. So we are establishing that Kai is indeed friends with the guy who raped her. How this happened when he had security? I mean, shit like this can happen anyway. Security is not like patrolling every individual bedroom with a closed door, and like a million things can go wrong there. Kai will be addressing this on stream today or tomorrow. But has that happened yet? Have we gotten have we gotten info on that? Uh, live stream fail. If it's if it's happened, it'll be on LSF. XQC on why he isn't calling for a ban on Kai like he did for Mizkif. Energy with, same energy they did with the Mizkif thing. Because I'm not going for a ban on Kai. When when even her okay admits that what she accused him of initially looked like that at the time and could be not true you guys understand or not do you guys understand how that works or i don't know why i care about xqc's position on this a woman who messaged the victim in support has had experience around kai and his friends and kai's friends kai sinat's friends refer to them as horny predators Damn girl, I remember seeing you that whole night. I hope you get the justice you oh, deserve. I've been around Kai and his friends for months and they're horny predators who can't take no for an answer. So 110% believe you'd be strong. All right, so another chick is corroborating the idea that these guys don't exactly have a top tier position on, on respecting consent. Great. How Kai handled the situation 10 hours ago. What's this? I said, I don't want to involve you publicly, but I'm going to need some answers or else I'm going to have to figure this shit out on my own. Your security said that they remembered knocking on the door and that some boy with gray boxes opened the door. If you don't want to help me, I'm telling you right now, I will take it to social media and I know for a fact someone will give me the information I need. And he told me that he gave, me, that he gave his team my phone number to handle, to handle the situation. Then he told me, uh, uh, um, he sent me a paragraph of his attorney and that they're going to be contacting me and he hasn't talked to me ever since. And that was, you. this was on Monday. It is now Thursday. I waited, I waited days. I waited days and I told him that I was going to take it to social media. But I told the attorney that I was not going to lie. I'm not a liar. There was like, yes, I told Kai. Okay, my, okay. When Kai says, I'm like, I'm going to hand this off to my lawyer. They're going to handle it. What that means is, hey, lawyer, cover this the fuck up for me. Cover my ass. Kai is not being legally implicated here. It is not a crime for a friend of yours to rape somebody at a party you're hosting. That, that isn't anything, that doesn't legally implicate you in any way. Uh, it optically implicates you under some circumstances, but not legally. Which means the job of the lawyer here is just to cover, not, not, not necessarily like do a cover up, but just to, to gather as much information as possible to frame things in a way that's optically beneficial for Kai. The alleged victim from Kai's party describes what she's been going through. Oh, we have another Chud clip. Friendship. That would that would be way more beneficial than this than this right here. This is not this is doing nothing for me but embarrassing me. I'm embarrassed. Like I'm so dirty. Like you don't understand. Jesus. Oh, I'm, I feel so sorry. I'm I'm sorry that you gotta. I'm sorry that you gotta. 
had you to, had to go through that. Still you're still going through And I had to talk about it today because I'm crying every single day. Like, I barely sleep. And when I do, I wake up crying. So it's just like, I just can't. Like, this boy is probably not even thinking about it. He's probably just waking up and going on with his day. And I haven't been doing nothing for the whole week. And this was supposed to be a whole new year. Like, this is not fair. This is just uh, isn't fair uh, to me. Like, yeah, that's not good. Okay, and then Kai put out a response one one hour ago. This is the initial video. Okay, right. He responded here. Well, we see the clips of it here. Oh, no, no! Holy shit. That is not a great way to open a clip where you talk about this event. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. Maybe announce a subathon first. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, no! Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Wow, I do not want to watch this guy talk for 25 minutes. At all. Like, there's nothing on Earth I would rather do. Or, or that I'd rather do less. I can hear him, yeah. Very well. I had to turn down the volume. Are we good? Can y'all hear me? Is everything good? Hold on, let me, I'm, hold on, I gotta mute, I gotta mute all alerts. This is not no joke, this is a very serious matter. He's a professional Twitch streamer. He's streaming this in like 4K. The lighting in here is perfect. He, he could just go live and talk. He, hey, hey, yo, can my, can my, can we get an, hey, is my, is my audio coming through? Can we get an AO from the people in the chat? Hey, what's up? Hey, everyone. Okay, yeah, y'all, y'all can hear me? Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, yeah, okay, y'all can see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now let's talk about this rape at my house party. How's everybody doing today? Holy shit, he's actually doing it. How y'all doing? Very serious matter today. Um, yeah, I know. 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 Um, hold on. Let me make sure everything is good on my end before, uh, everything goes. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, it's been eating me alive. Okay. I'm just gonna... Skip ahead a little bit. Everybody, take it off sub only. Let everybody be able to comment. How are you guys doing? This is get everyone to comment. Make sure you have chat on screen while we talk about the rate. Okay. Hold on, let me make sure everybody come in. Everybody gotta come in. Everybody, I want I need everybody in here. I need everybody. Let them in. Hmm. I'm gonna explain everything. For, for those who's confused, I gotta explain everything. Um Jesus Christ, man. Okay, let's. All right. Let me go ahead and say something real quick. Very important. I do not, under any circumstances, condone any sexual sexual activity. Okay, I can't. Consent. We're watching. I literally can't. I literally cannot watch this guy. Like, I, I literally can't do it. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'd rather end stream than keep watching this. I actually, I cannot do this. I'm sorry. The narcissism is just too. I can't do it. I can't do it. We're gonna watch clips. We're watching clips. Here's a clip. Kai speaks to the person who allegedly raped a girl's party. Okay, 31 seconds. Let's see. Let's see how many AO can we get a hype train in the chat call outs we get in this 31 second clip. Look at the Twitch chat. They had the same reaction as you. Yeah, I, I gotta say, man, I know nothing about Kai. Every nanosecond of him talking in that tiny portion of the video that we just watched made me think, oh, this guy would 100% let his friends rape people to party. Holy shit. This guy doesn't give a fuck about anything other than himself. Go ahead and say something. The person that's associated with me, I knew this guy, I'm not defending him once again, I knew this guy for a very long time, we went on multiple trips, you feel what I'm saying? Never was, the, uh, he's not that type of person, I'm not saying shit didn't happen, I'm not saying none of that, I'm not defending nobody, cause bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone bro, I'm here to help, I'm here to help, I know how he looked, scars on the face, dreads, you feel me? That's for the law, if, that's for the law to handle though, that's none of y'all business at all. What? What was the, what? What was the, what was the point? What, wait, what is he? I actually don't know what he's saying here. This is completely incoherent. I'm not defending nobody because, bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. He is here to help her. I'm here to help. I know how he looked. Scars on the face. Dreads. 
You feel me? I understand his appearance might invoke bias against him. That's for the law. If that's for the law to handle, though, that's none of your business at all. It's not your business. It's the law's business that he has dread. Okay. All right. Here, hold on. Kai thinks he's taking all the heat because she went to the internet first. Yeah, bro, and you know, I, I'm taking all the heat. I'll take it. I'll take all the heat right now because, you know, she got to the internet first. Um, and it's fine. Jovi, I'm not mad at you. I'm not. I don't want you to think nothing is wrong. I'm good. You're good, man. You're good. We're gonna we're gonna solve this. Um, please. I hope I hope you're doing your part on really going to like, you know, people shit. But by the time it's it's uh it's all said and done, you'll be sit is already on the roll. So, um, when I'm able to talk to you, I'm able to talk to you. When I'm able to talk to um get both sides, and when I'm able to talk to any of them who's involved. What does any of this fucking mean? I smell toast. Yeah, what the f- my left arm, I can't feel anything in my left arm. What the f- Okay, for the impression that I'm getting here is that he's an incredible narcissist, he's not that bright, and that he wants to defend his friend without defending his friend, and he basically here wanted to say like, bitch, why the f*** did you make this public without directly saying it? Because that's basically what he just said. He was like, yeah, she went to the internet first, and hey, that's all right. I'm not mad, you know, which is a which is a very appropriate thing to say in this situation. One of these clips, just like randomly, like like just as a statistical accident, has to hit upon him saying something of substance, right? Like even just by coincidence. Everybody probably was wondering why was not why Kai wasn't replying. Why wasn't he texting back like this? Why wasn't he helping? Because screenshots um uh came in. As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat, I didn't go nowhere else. When this shit was brought to my attention, I didn't go nowhere else but the police. Instantly, I went to my legal team. I went to the police. Why, why would you go to the police? She's the one who would report the crime. What would you, what would you tell the police? You went to your legal team because you want to cover your ass. You're not offering your lawyers to her to prosecute your friend. So the only thing your lawyers can do is, is, is cover your ass. That's it. That's the only role they have. That's why wealthy people have lawyers. It's not just so they do lawsuits and stuff. I'm not playing. I'm not being around. This is a serious topic. Let's go to the police. Let's figure this out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people was like, yo, you need, uh, uh, he didn't help you, this, that, and the third. Bro, I went to the police. It happened at his house. I think it is everything reported. Yeah, but, like, he would contribute to her police report or the investigation she filed, right? Unless he, unless he's saying he went to the police on a separate report than her. Like, like, that she never went to the police and he just went there and was like, yeah, I want to open up. I want to open up a police report on me with my second-hand information on this story but yeah the woman hasn't come for what i don't think he went to the police instantly my legal team the reason why i did not reply is because my legal team told me kai do not text anyone do not uh post uh do not talk about the situation to anybody Keep yeah exactly Le yeah, that's what the legal team would tell you. It's like, yeah, a, a woman claims that she was raped one of your parties. Do not respond to her in any way. She it's shut the f*** up Friday. Uh, it it's only to cover his ass. He's making it seem as though, like, him going to his lawyers was some kind of, like, responsibility he had to her. Like, it was a benefit to her. Like, oh, yeah, I took this seriously. I immediately went to my team of, like, adult babysitters um, whose job it is to wipe my ass when I get in trouble. And by the way, man, I don't give a f*** what your lawyers say. If somebody says they got raped at a party you held, like, you can at least say, holy shit, I'm so sorry. You know why the lawyers didn't want him to say that? Because they don't want him to implicate his friend either. Because they wouldn't want anything like, oh my god, I'm so sorry that happened or whatever. Like, that would be read potentially in the future down the line as a legal mark against that guy or like an indication of support. Or if it went public that he said that, but then later he like went back in it and started defending his friend. It's like, well, then why'd you apologize to begin with? It's all just like, Wealthy people, popularity bullshit. Jovi, although my team contacted you and say and said that Kai is not able to talk at this time, 
okay? They said that to you. You was aware that I was muted, but you still went to the internet. I'm not here to blame you. You got to the internet first. They uh, do their assumptions. My name got dragged, okay? And it's fine. I gotta go. I, this is what this is what being at such a stature gonna come with. Why the f*** would she not go public with this? Like, why not? She told you and you clammed up and your, your lawyers were like, um, Kai Sina will not be engaging with you at this time. Thank you. Like, what the f*** else is she? What, she just like, wait? What is she, what is she supposed to do here? Okay, you was, you was, um, my team, what the hell I tell you? Yo, Kai is not able to talk right now. Don't, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he don't expect nothing from coming for him. He's not able to. This is all legal. Once this shit got brought to my attention, it is now an invest. Looks like a lot of people in his chat are like pretty mad at him. Investigation. Okay, it is now. Jovi, although. Yeah, don't talk to anyone about anything. Then make a 25 minute rambling Twitch video. I said, bro, what the f am I hearing right now, gang? Chat. I went straight to my friend, the person that you see getting posted. I said, bro, what the f am I hearing right now, gang? I addressed them. I said, yo, bro, what the f is this? When you see, you can see the text messages, when she sent the photo, you can see me react as in, it's him? Like, I legit, I legit, I'm telling y'all what it is. I know him. So I'm t I went to him immediately. I said, yo, bro, what the f*** you got going on? What am I hearing right now, bro? You feel me? What am I hearing right now about shit that's going on? Chat. As soon as he heard uh -huh. her side of the story, I'm representing her, bro. She's hurt. She's hurt, bro. I don't play that. I went, I went to her, to him. I said her story. Complete shock. He was in complete shock. Damn, dude. Really? Uh, it, or you, you say, hey, dude, this chick said that you raped her, and he didn't immediately confess. That's astonishing. Keep in mind, man. This guy's community is mostly like twelve-year-olds, or maybe even younger. I, they're getting some up messaging on this even if the older people are wise enough to realize what a c he's being here it's like yeah dude bro i couldn't believe it i was so ready to help out this girl who said she'd been raped but when i told the guy she um she accused that she claimed that he raped her he was like no i didn't do that i couldn't believe it man he looked me right in the eye and he said no i didn't do that so now i don't even know what to do wow thank you for your insight he don't know I'm telling you my perspective. He was so confused on the things that she said. Legitimately confused. This is this is playing defense for the rapist. This is 100%. 100% is. Framing framing this is like, bro, you're not going to believe it, dude. The the accused rapist didn't immediately confess. Uh th that this is like apology. On the things that she said, everything like that, right? I took a step back. I said, yo, Ka, somebody's, there's two sides of the stories now, Ka. What the f*** did you th- What? Man, this is one extra complicated he said, she said situation, dude. This is getting, this is, oh my god, this is like some Sherlock Holmes shit. The, they didn't immediately confess. They didn't immediately, I thought, I was positive that they would immediately confess. Who are you gonna handle it with? The police, okay? When she, when she, uh... Like there are people in chat who are like, what happened? I have no clue what he's saying. Cause he's, cause he's incoherent. Um, she asked for, um, in the screenshot, she asked for her name, she asked for his name automatically. I told my team, I said, yo, team, here's his name, give it to her. That is the reason why she got it in the first place, okay? Okay, so she was able to ID the guy? visually, and then asked for a confirmation of his name. That's interesting. The reason why I didn't reply is because I wasn't legally able to. My team told me no. That's why I'm replying now. Please be on the same page as me. Okay? Please. I'm, 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 in, I'm trying to salute. You feel what I'm saying? I haven't spoken to her. I haven't spoken to him. I haven't spoken to her i haven't spoken to him you said you went up to him and told him what the accusations were from her you gave what you 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 said that you talked to him about her accusations his whole image is up right now gang he's everywhere 
Every blog, everybody knows about this. He's everywhere. I'm telling y'all to trust me, bro. Whatever happens, bro. Whatever happens. This guy's a first hour Phoenix right witness. Holy shit, you're completely right, man. This guy this guy is 100% like the opening bit, you know? I'm going to make sure y'all are updated if I can. I don't play like this. Her, her, her tweet about um for all of Jiggy friends um and causing that fans threatening me threatening to kill me. Um fans I can't speak for. Friends I can. My friends haven't said anything. I can say that. My friends that I know, I'm not talking about the one who got accused or nothing like that. My friends that I know, everybody that I be around, Punga, everybody, everybody, everybody that y'all know who I'm associated with, they out of this. They don't know nothing. They, I There's literally no point listening to this guy. This guy's like an information black hole. Like, it, it, like he's, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's, his, his gravitational center is so strong. He's so dense um, that information can't actually escape. It's, you can only lose knowledge from listening to him talk. It's incredible. Yeah, I, okay, right, okay, yeah. I, I came into this with no opinions whatsoever on Kai or anything that happened, and now I'm convinced that the woman's telling the complete truth and he's trying to cover up for his rapist friend. Holy shit. Oh my god. You'd think you'd think you would have a little bit more charisma for, like, d defending against the allegations when you're the universe's largest Twitch streamer. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, what is this? This is the chick. For all the Jewish fr uh, uh, friends and Kai CNET fans threatening to kill me, you'd be doing me a favor. Yeah, she's getting a ton of harassment right now. Like, guaranteed. Like, 100%. Uh, no caveats. Guaranteed. No alternate reality. Could it could exist. I'm sure she's getting a ton of uh, hate right now. Close that. Close. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What the f*** else is Kai addressing why he wasn't immediately helping? Okay, if my understanding of, like, internet lunch table politics is under is correct, I'm pretty sure LSF and hates this guy. Um, because LSF is full of, like, people who got in on Twitch for the gaming, or at the very least for, like, just chatting, like, more, like, young adult drama, and they hate the Zoomer crowd, Kai Sinet types or whatever, where they just, like, sh I, I don't even know what the f Kai does. I, I don't think he shows up on LSF, though. So they should hate him, right? Kai directly lied to the victim, pretend he didn't recognize the accused. There's no excuse for this. Kai protected a rapist, not even up for debate. Yep. The stream is worse than the Miskiff one. He says this. He says he didn't speak to her because he can't because the law then later says he went and spoke with his rapist friend that he said she was lying. How can he speak with his friend but not her? Shit is contradicting. No, he said he talked to his friend after the text then after hearing his side decided to back up and contact the police legal team. If his legal team told him not to talk, he was mute. They didn't contact police for it. That's something he wouldn't lie about. The way he responded to her wasn't right. It doesn't sit right. Calling her f crazy, etc. was cold. Wait, when the f*** did he call her crazy? Why Kai wasn't replying? Why wasn't he Text him back like this. And I don't blame y'all for asking me. Why wasn't Ka texting back like this? Why wasn't he helping? Because screenshots, um... It was in the text messages? Okay, nice. Great. Cool. Uh, came in. As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat, I didn't go nowhere else. When this shit was brought to my attention... Okay, we already heard this bit. Kai lies and says he didn't pretend to know... For, for, it doesn't go, uh, any farther than that, okay? Okay, one thing, one thing, okay? How do I know uh, the person being accused? Jiggy, Jiggy, right? How do I know him? I know him. I never said he wasn't my friend. I know him. I, he went to high school with me. Um, and you know what I'm saying? He's a friend that I genuinely oh, know. Jesus. Okay? This is somebody that I know. Oh, yeah, so he said he didn't know the guy, but he doesn't just, like, casually know him. He, like, knows him, knows him. Okay. No person. Wait. Okay? All right. Now. Now. First things first, let me kick it off like this. I can't go too in detail. So you're probably wondering. Let me address everything that everybody probably was wondering. Why was not, why Kai wasn't replying? Why wasn't he texting back well, I like think it was this? The internet asleep, and man. I don't blame y'all for asking me. Why wasn't Kai texting back like this? Why wasn't he helping? Because I think the first time was in and out of sleep for sure. Uh, came in. Right? As soon as this was brought to my attention, chat. I didn't go nowhere else. Okay. So he, he immediately lied about whether or not he knew the guy, then went and talked to the guy, and then didn't talk to the chick afterwards, and then played defense for the alleged rapist in this video by acting as though an alleged rapist not immediately confessing is some kind of crazy, like, like Sherlock Holmes mystery.
you trying to give us your headache? I kind of am, yeah. I kind of resent all of you for telling me about this. Oh, this is from the chick herself. Oh my god, words. Yeah, okay, this is the original thread then. Not the images of the thread that I was originally given. So she said, that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't help me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. And he says, yo, what the fuck? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you f crazy? I knew it was going on. Is there more info there? Like, wait, I want to see. Ah, oh, God, dude, where's the text scroll? Where's the text scroll? God damn it. Ugh. Ty's legal team watching these clips like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. The comments on the girl's latest picture on Twitter. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Cover your cover your drinks. Cover your drinks when you're around Twitch streamers, man. I'm a YouTube streamer, so I'm fine. You can trust me. But Twitch streamers. Whew. Oh, God. Yeah. To be, to be clear, by the way, I guess so I can be a little bit more constructive than just, like, reacting. Here, here's what should have happened, okay? Yeah, here, here's what should have happened. The problem here is that every bit of behavior from Kai was, like, the most he could do to favor the alleged rapist without explicitly coming out and doing it. The, ideally, what you would do in this situation, if you host a party, if you're, like, a big popular Twitch streamer, whatever, and you host a party, and you, and a woman after the party says, "Yeah, I was raped by one of your friends." Okay, this is uh, this is not good. That's a legal term. Okay, Saul Goodman would say that it's uh, not good. So the the here's what you absolutely have to do. Okay, the first thing that you have to do, and this may seem anti, well, you know, controversial. This is the controversial streamer Vosh coming out with the take in a total vacuum. All accusations like this are a he said, she said. If evidence comes to light that builds on a case, then that's that. But the pure accusation itself is a he said, she said. Now it's worth noting that false rape accusations are about as common as false accusations of every other crime. Assault, murder, grand theft auto, theft. That is to say, not that likely. I think it's somewhere in the ballpark of like 97 to three, like a 3% chance, give or take, that if someone like makes a serious accusation of a crime, uh, it's it's likely to have happened, uh, at the very least, something in that ballpark. Yeah, two to three percent, something like that. It's it, so overwhelmingly. This is why people on the left are like, uh, you know, take this seriously. Believe all women. I think the believe all women line, by the way, is stupid because believe all women actually means like take their claims seriously. It doesn't literally mean they're incapable of lying. Obviously, everyone can lie. I just, I feel like that particular, the, the way it's phrased, like, leads to conservatives doing this bad faith thing where they're like, so I should always believe that, even if I have proof they're lying. She's like, shut the fuck up. You know what we mean. You know what they mean. Okay, whatever. Yeah, like, take it seriously. Investigate the claim in earnest. Exactly. If you're in a situation where the accusation is a friend of yours raped someone, so there are, there are a couple sides to this, especially as a public figure, okay? There's the interpersonal, there's the legal, and then there's the public, okay? Interpersonally, your goal in this situation is to make sure that uh, people are suffering as little emotional harm as possible, right? And I, and I, I think that like, goes to everyone. And what, what that usually means is like you try to calm things down and you try to get the information that you feel you need to make the decisions you need to make. Do you trust people? Do you let them into your house in the future? Is is there like an immediate threat situation going on? If a friend of mine was accused of rape and I had no evidence whatsoever in favor or against that claim, I wouldn't immediately go, oh, you rapist, get out of my house. Like, I would be concerned, but I would want to think like, okay, let's let's get what info we can to to try to determine what decisions I should make with them interpersonally, right? That's interpersonal. Publicly speaking, you want to keep a cap on this as long as you can, because basically zero situations of this caliber improve when they go public. That's not even like a PR thing. That's just for everyone's sake. The woman right now who, who accused Kai's friend is no doubt getting a bunch of death threats. Uh, I doubt she wants... Listen, women do not go like, oh boy, now I can go to the internet to accuse a massive public figure with loads and loads, literally millions of 12-year-old boys in his audience of being, com you know, complicit in my rape. That's going to go great. It's going to be great. Nobody does this. This is not a thing. People are, you know, oh boy, 3 a.m., time to, time to be the main character of a hate mob today. No, that's not. So, <laughs> no.
That's what DH academics say right now. Yeah, that's because there's an entire community of young men who literally believe that like false rape accusations are women's ticket to living on a yacht for the rest of their life. This is delusional, and this is the reason they believe this is because men are just biologically irrational. Let's continue. For just for everyone's sake, you want to keep the public out of it. You want to keep everything quiet on uh, uh, on your front. This is one of the reasons why I kind of doubt Kai's claim about the legal team, because the legal team's job is to cover his ass, and the best way to do that is to keep things private. So the fact that he never even said to her directly, like, empathetically, like, Hey, listen, you know, I, I need to figure some stuff out and talk to some people. You know, I don't know how long that's going to take. Uh, obviously, I want justice for this. We need to figure stuff out, blah, blah, blah. The fact that all she got was like a cold text from apparently like a legal head saying like, we cannot talk to you at this time. Like, that's not fun. That doesn't say anything. It's really weird, you know? Really weird. Really weird. Um, you know, you, you want to keep them out. If the public gets involved, obviously, then you should make... Uh, a public statement saying like this is this is awful and uh you know i i just we want to get to the bottom of this but at the moment we're still doing that so please limit the public speculation um thank you that's that literally that's all you can say that's all you can say when you're still in the he said she said situation right and then legally you go to the police and then nothing happens because the police never check the rape kits. <laughs> so you know, we, that's the great, that's the trifecta of shit right there. And and the goal is like you you know as as opinion shifts, you you try to find out what's true, and you 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 don't always arrive at like some kind of flawless, perfect like you know unfalsifiable uh, evidence that one person's the wrong or the right. But that's often the case with you know a lot of crime, even if there are no legal consequences. You know, like kind of what happened with Miskiff, right? You try to determine. What are the veracity of these allegations? You know, who's acting more sussy? Who's the imposter, right? Uh, sometimes you, you, you gotta... The court of public opinion. Basically, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to get to, is that Kai Sinet f***ed up on literally all of these levels. Like, on literally every metric here, <laughs> he f***ed up. So, you know, there you go. No, zoom out. Many victims blame themselves. People are generally terrified of being victim of assault. Therefore, the just world fallacy blinds us and exacerbates our bias against the victims. Yeah, especially if people really fucking like the guy being implicated, right? Or in this case, his friend, Kai, because he's, like, super popular. Here's the DM scroll you looked for earlier. Right, thank you. Okay, like, showing pics of the... Found him in his picture. Gonna be at the hospital night, so just hit me up. Okay. I should have read this at the beginning. It was just a lot of info right off the bat. Um, that, so she says, that's him specifically identifying the guy in the picture, found him in the picture, hitting, hitting him up with the hospital selfie. Notable, by the way, that she seems to be engaging with Kai in really good faith off the get-go. Like, she's just been raped, and she's like, hey, this is the guy, here's a cute pic of me at the hospital because I've been raped at your party, hit me up when you're ready, doing a rape kit, okay, she got a rape kit done, that's good. Doing a rape kit at the hospital, can you please help me identify? Please don't tell please don't tell him anything. And then he went and told the guy. Like, don't tell him I'm at the hospital or anything. I don't want him to have time to make up a story or be on alert. And then he went to the guy and told him everything she said and gave him time to make up a story and be on alert. Thank you, Kai. And that was 9 a.m. on Monday, 2.30 p.m. And then Kai sent a pic, said it's him. Yes, that's the guy, whoever is that. I'm in a meeting currently. I'm going to try to find out. Hold on. No, it did ask him. Found it. Yes, it's him. I'm not slow. And I remember. Me and you have a lot of mutuals. They can all vouch for me. I'm not a liar. This type of shit don't even happen to me. Is that the guy you sent to check in on me? No, the guy I sent to check in on you was up in the left. Literally seen it with my own eyes. You opened door halfway, asked you to go, then came downstairs. Okay, well, that guy went in after. I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know everyone at the party, so you have to be with me. I've been digging through all your friends' pictures to look for this man. It's taken me a whole day and a half. I had plans in New York for the weekend. I had to stop to do this. You could have made the process a whole lot easier, but you didn't help me. That's your friend, and I know I'm not. So you can defend a rapist. I'll handle this. Okay, and at this point, she is completely... Yeah, she she understands that he's... Because at this point, it's... um. What's the last timestamp or the t last time code? What what time is it? 2.30 p.m.? So he would have seen this five and a half hours ago. And sh he seems like incredibly unwilling to engage with this at all. And then she's hostile towards him. She's so reasonable and responsible to this. Yeah, she, she approaches her like post-rape investigation with a degree of clerical uh, professionalism that you would expect from like a secretary doing work or something. 
she's like, okay, yeah, you know, like, um, here's the info, here are some pictures that I spent a day and a half looking up for, if you could take a look at these and confirm. Yeah. God, that's an impressive degree of self-control on her part, man. What happens when you get a rate kit? Is it invasive and potentially traumatizing? Well, let's be real. Of course it's potentially traumatizing. I think there are different kinds of rape kits. I don't think they're that bad, like, physically, but emotionally, at the, at the time you have to take them, it might be, you know. She, so she immediately went to the hospital, got the rape kit, and got the anti-STD cocktail. I mean, yeah, it's invasive, right? What exactly is a rape kit? It's, it's that you, you do a rape kit to, like, gather DNA evidence and do some other stuff to see if you can prove that someone had sex with you or if there's anyone else's DNA in or on you or whatever. It's, it's a thing. I think there are different, like, tiers of rape kit or whatever. Yeah, it's, they, they, like, check and see, like, abrasions. Or, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a thing, you know. I'm sure it is invasive, but it, it's also pretty good to get done. Cops have a tendency to not check rape kits because they're scum, but, uh, you, you know, it's, it's still probably good to, uh, to do that. And a public figure in these situations has to take every effort to rein in their audience so they don't harass her. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And he, he's done the opposite for sure. Yeah, he's, he's basically like, he, he's done the whole like, oh, you went public with it. Okay, I'm not mad so that people will get mad at her. Yeah. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. The Injustice of America's Rape Kit Backlog, Bowen School of Law, or UA Little Rockets. Estimated there are currently well over 100,000 untested rape kits in America. Uh, to many people, that statement may not mean much. It screams one thing, injustice. Okay, it's a legal article, yeah. I thought there was more than 100,000 untested ones. I thought I thought I heard, I remember hearing about one department in particular that had ten, like over 10,000. Yeah, this right here. Backlog of 11,000 untested Detroit rape kits from 1984 to 2009 have been fully tested. Hey, honey, do you remember sometime shortly before the end of the Cold War when you were raped at that party? Well, okay, good news. As these kits were discovered, discovered in 2009, the prosecutor office announced they were all investigated that more than 4,800 of these cases resulted in 239 convictions with 40 states impacted and 841 suspected serial offenders identified. Discovered. What back room did you have these in they hit them yeah just somewhere under like a loose floorboard someone was just like tossing them down there for 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 25 years that's the charity trying to get all those kids processed why the f do we need a charity to get these kits processed when it's the literal fucking job of the police to investigate crimes that's their job that's the job they have that's the whole f okay it's like legal reform. So like, yeah, it's like reform and like, we need laws to force the cops to do their f***ing job because it's, it's the American police, you know? Un oh, the untested kit backlog. Nice. We have a couple states where we just have question marks. Apparently, Florida has zero untested rape kits. So I guess, I guess they aren't a complete f*** up. California, 14,000. LAPD really putting in work here. I bet you a lot of this is LAPD bullshit. 13 million people in Los Angeles County. Or they're lying. Yeah, they're tossing that shit in the garbage. New Jersey. Oh, it's like a legal thing. Pillar count? I don't know what that is. Pillars? Oh, the six pillars of reform. Okay, I see. Statewide inventory, test backlogs, test new... Okay, yeah, gotcha. <sighs> Neat. Where do you, where did the where did the rape happen? Does anyone know what state the party was in? So we can, we can, we can roll odds on the likelihood of the rape kit she got actually getting tested. It happened in New York. Oh, happened in New York, guys. I'm not taking I'm not taking any bets on that. What about you, Artemy?